Uh, check the screen now, bro. Salutations to the hopeful lake out there pushing this word in truth and the sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners that have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through, through faith, all right, and the hearing of this word, man, you know, all through the power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, you know, and um, we GMS, Mississippi GMS Memphis camp, you know, up here breaking bread, you know, with the beloved brothers, you know, of Memphis. You know, and uh, what we're going to get into with the title of the lesson says is Salvation Highway. You know, because in the midst of us being lost, in the midst of us, you know, um, falling away from who we are, you know, falling away from our, our heritage, you know, our language, you know, not knowing who we were, who our power was, the Most High created a highway for us to get back to Him, man. You see? And we're going to get it in the scripture because it was all part of the prophecy, man. You know? So uh, we're going to start off there, Isaiah 30, 30, 35, 35 4. 4. Yeah, come on. Uh, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 4. Yep. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, yep. be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Yep. Even the Most High, with a recompense, he will come and save you. Yeah, so we telling our people with a fearful heart, you know, because you got a lot of people that's new, you know, to this knowledge. You know, when they hear about all the schemes and plots of the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, you know, and they can get fearful. You got people asking questions, you know, what if they get held down and get the chip, you know, what if this and what if that. Well, we push faith and we push victory, man. All right. Even if we have to lay our life down, we still have the victory over this damn devil if we die in your house shot. All right. Because, matter of fact, get, uh, uh, talk about you get, um, Revelation 2 and 10 real quick. All right, because we got victory even in death, you know. So this message, this gospel, this good news is a message of victory. All right? Ain't nothing lose. Ain't no ain't no losing within this doctrine, man. That's things of this world that we lose in, man. You see? But this doctrine, for the believers, there is no losses, man. You got it, bro. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Yep. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So the, the scripture telling us to constantly fear not, man. And that's the... The scriptures that we have to, you know, uh, meditate on when we get those doubt things, man. Because we all get them. You know, we in this flesh. And the flesh, you know, is terrified of pain and terrified of death, man. You know? But we override that fear with what's written, man. If the, if the, if the Most High tell us to fear not, that means he has something in place, you know, for us, man. You know? You got it, bro. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, yep. that you may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Yep. Be thou faithful unto death. Be thou faithful <clears throat> unto death. Go ahead. And I will give thee a crown of life. And I will give thee a crown of life. So even if you if you die for what you believe in, if you die believing in this gospel, believing in this word, you're going to receive a crown of life. You see? So there is no losing in this, man. You know? And all that what if, like I say, that's of the flesh. Ain't no what if. You know? It's what's written. You know? And we got... Have our minds geared towards that, you know? But uh, keep going to Isaiah 34. Yep. 35, I mean. Yeah, you should only be concerned about, you know, the sacrifice you have to make, you know, not worried about what it's going to be, like, in the details of it. You know, you should just be preparing your mind 
for the greatest sacrifice that you can make is, is death. Like like the brother uh, Yashin, uh, uh, I believe that was you and the Zahab was going into a way. We ain't even resisted unto blood yet, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, hey, the, the, the little cares and little skirmishes you have in your mind about, you know, what, I, what I'm going to have to do, you know, you need to stop thinking about that, man. You know, just build yourself up in the faith and, and fear not. You know, know that you have a greater power uh, uh, amongst the world that nobody can stop, man. You know, that nobody in the world can stop, you know. So as long as you put your faith in him, he going to take you on his wing and going to carry you through whatever it is you may have to go through. Uh, uh, going out, yeah, keep reading. Yeah, yeah. Um, Isaiah 35 and verse 5. Yep. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. That's us. We was blind. All right? Calling ourselves African American. Calling ourselves Latinos and Native Americans and all these bywords, man. Calling on uh, uh, Jesus Christ, man. You know? Which is a, a deity that has nothing to do with the Messiah of the Scripture. Because the doctrine that's centered around Jesus has nothing to do, all right, with the good news that's promised to Israel, man. You see? That's why under the doctrine of Jesus, our people are, are more blind than ever, man. You see? You got to go. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. The ears of the deaf. All right, we were the deaf. Our people were the deaf, man. We couldn't, because before, the Lord put the Spirit on us to receive the truth. Well, those ain't read the Bible from folk, you know? But it was like we was deaf. It was like we were blind. We couldn't see the prophecies. We couldn't see that we were the children of Israel. We couldn't see, all right, that Esau, Edom, you know, with the so-called white man. We couldn't see these things, man. We had heard of the story of Jacob and Esau before we came in the ministry but see we were spiritually blind we couldn't see these things man all right we couldn't hear these things but now we do we can hear the apostles breaking down all right revelation and now we have the ears to hear but before we didn't have it man you see you got it bro verse six then shall the lame man leap as in heart and the tongue of the dumb sing who says shall the lame man leap man you know because we was going about our life as a lame man. A lame man has a hard time getting around. You see, it's hard for him to get around. You know, he had he has a very in, uh, efficient way of getting around. And that's what we was, man. Christianity, we was going nowhere fast. Islam, we was going nowhere fast. We had no understanding. You know, we was getting around the earth in a very inefficient way. You know, trying to trust the so-called white man. That's a very inefficient way to move, man. You see, trying to uh, get all black people together. That, that's that's a that's like a lame man because you're not gonna go nowhere, man. You see, then it says, "Shall the uh, uh, what it say? Shall the dumb sing that new song?" You see, we was dumb because we weren't talking about shit. We was like mutes. We weren't talking about shit. You know, the father Jake conversation with was talking about who the greatest basketball yeah. player. You know, the best rapper. Best cause. What uh what American gangster sold the most dope? Mm -hmm. That was deep as our conversation went. Carnal. Yeah. You see, we were dumb. Mm -hmm. You know? But now we singing that new song. So now the dumb is singing the new song, man. The same men that aspired to be, you know, athletes, uh rappers, trap boys, all right, uh or just a nigga, all right, in America, now singing that new song, man. That's all due to the Holy Spirit, man. You know, you got it. Okay, come on, you got it. Uh, this Psalms 149, it says, Praise ye the Lord, yep. sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Because this song hasn't been sung in the earth, man. All right? This is this is the last song to be sung because uh, going back to that time of Elder Abba Bibbins, you know, the man, he taught unto him to be uh, a king, Masha, you know, high priest, Yaqua, Ari, uh, Ariah. You know, and then our elders and apostles, they start with elders and apostles to heart, all right? Then that new song was starting to be sung in the earth. And now you hear that song being sung all throughout the four corners, man. Camps all over the globe singing this new song, man. Wasn't well, nobody talking about the missiles. I mean, the, the arrows in Jeremiah 50 and 51 was the missiles. That, that's a new song in the earth, man. That wasn't being sung back in the, uh, 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 you know, uh, 1850s. 1750, that wasn't being sown, but now it's being sown. The new Jerusalem coming down. Speaking of the elect of Israel coming out those chariots, man. All right? Going into the chariots, man. Understand what the chariots of Israel are. See, this is that new song, you know? And it's being sung, man. You know? Uh, see, that was it. Go ahead. It say, 
and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Yep. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful Ooh. in their king. Right, he said, let the children of Israel rejoice in him that made him, man. All right? That's why brothers surnamed they self, you know, these Hebrew names, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we're praising in our power, you know, and he has a Hebrew name, man. All right? Contrary, all right, to popular belief, you know, our power has a Hebrew name, man. You see? Embracing our exalted name. Yep. The Lord exalted us when he put the name Israel on us. Yep. You know, so we got to embrace that and we got to walk according to it, you know. We got to walk as gods in the earth, man. You know, like, you know, with the mentality that this word, A, hey, is what's going to take us to the next level, man. You know, this song that we sing. Uh, I'm going to read two more. It says, yeah. let the praises, let the praise, let, me start. let them praise his name. In the dance, yep. let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. Yep. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Yeah, it said praise him with the timbrel and the harp. Because we're all instruments. Mm -hmm. You know, because instruments um, consist of, you know, like go to the horns. What, what, what does it take? It takes, you know, breath. Breath. You got to have breath to blow those horns. Mm -hmm. See, now we got that breath that we they were caught, all right, that spirit, mm -hmm. you know. Now we the vessels, man. We those instruments. We the tabrets and the uh, harps, man, mm -hmm. you know. And that's why it ain't no better music than live music, man. Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is live, hey, this, this is, we a live band, we man. We a live band, mm -hmm. you know. <clears throat> that was it. Okay, come on, let's go back to this. Go back, I'm going to start over. Okay. This on Isaiah 35, verse 6. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart. And the tongue of the dumb sing, for in the wilderness shall waters break out. Hey, in the wilderness shall water break out, man. Hey, the Most High built the paradise in the middle of the wilderness, man. You know, when you look at the truth, you know, the Lord really built the paradise in the middle of the wilderness because the wilderness, you know, represents a lawless land, you know, what they call the law of the jungle, you know. But in the midst of all this madness, the Most High is preparing the paradise because the kingdom start within us, man. You see, it's the mindset that we got. Brothers got beautiful minds. You see, we got a paradise in the midst of the wilderness, man, with this, with this, uh, uh, with this truth, you know. And, and it's going into what, what do you, how shall I say, you know, to that man that repented on the cross. He say, look, you're going to be in paradise with me. He really telling you, you're going to be in this truth. Because this truth is like a paradise, man. It's going to lead to the physical paradise, man. All right? Eden being established back in the earth, man. You got it, bro. Come on. For in the wilderness shall waters break out yep. and streams in the desert. Yep, go ahead. And the parched ground shall become a pool. Yep. And the thirsty land springs of water. Yep, and that's what's happening, man. The most high is flooding the earth with this truth, man. This ministry, all right, this, this word, the understanding of the scriptures is coming as a flood. Matter of fact, if not, get uh, have to cook 2 and 14. You know, but the, the Lord is flooding this place with truth, man. You can sit on YouTube all day. And just learn and learn and learn. That's the most high, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, flooding the earth with his truth, man. Uh -huh. You see, because we was like that parched ground. We was dry, man. All right? Those you had Jake, you know, in the soups and ties in the 1920s, the Black Wall Street. Yeah, it was economically flourishing, but they were still parched. Mm -hmm. They were spiritually parched. All right? You had Jake, you know, in the 60s and 70s, coming with that revolution spirit, the civil rights. You see, they were still parched. You know, in the 80s, you had the Black Panthers and all these things. All that, all our people was parched, man. You know, but then, especially when you start 2007 when uh, YouTube came, the Most High really started watering the earth with this truth, man. Yeah, he, he, yeah. he, he overwhelming the earth with this truth. Yep, yep. Come you know, yeah. I just want to deal with this word, you know, real quick. You got to overwhelm. It says, to turn upside down, overthrow, knock over, to turn <laughs> upside down. Just the point to submerge completely. Woo. The internet is completely submerged with this truth, man. The yep. earth is being completely submerged with this truth. Yep. You know, as it said, I think there's a second era. The only truth is gonna stand, man. Yep. Faith right. shall flourish. I got that right here. <laughs> you got it. Okay, next up. Yeah. Uh, this is second as it sits. I'm gonna start 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit should be quenched. Yep. And for faith, it shall flourish. Correct. Hey, evil is being put out through this word. You see? 
because Esau, he don't, you know, he controlled the narrative for so long, and there was really no alternative narrative that he didn't create. Because you have so-called alternative narratives, you know, like our people, they was, uh, um, you know, stop believing in Christianity, and then they will believe in the five percenters, or they go to the Moors or Islam or Egypt pod as well. Those are still narratives created by the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. You see, this is the true alternative narrative because it comes straight, all right, from the spiritual realm. Yeah. And he came out to this, man. Yeah. You see, he can get, you know, these Israelite camps to sell out. You know, he can get them, but see, the true message, the true word what would not be uh, altered, man. He can't do nothing with it, man. Yeah. You know? It's for faith. It's your flourish. Yep. Your welcome should be overcome. Yeah, hey, faith is flourishing because we're seeing the things we prophesy happen, man. You know, we're seeing World War Three, all right, uh, 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 on the brink, all right? We're seeing Esau setting up the infrastructure for his RFID microchip, you know, just like uh, the brother and I did the lesson, you know, with the garbage can, you wave your hand over in the open, man. Esau is conditioning you for their microchip, man. You go to these spots, all right? What's the first thing they want to check? Your forehead, man. Yeah. All right? I just said now they're checking your wrist now. Yeah. Your forehead and your wrist. It yeah. don't matter, you know. Yeah. What they getting you ready for? And, but see, brothers been prophesying about this. So what does that do? It increase your faith, man. You know, if you was, if the Lord put the Spirit on you to speak about these things years before they came into into full effect, even before you could see it good, now you seeing it plainly. You know, that increases your faith, man. Just like even that fight, all right, with uh, Armenia and. Uh, uh, Albert Albert John, you know, because you look at it like you know it's nothing. You know, they don't fake my day to day. But then when you go into the scriptures in um Jeremiah, it says that the Lord, all right, will raise up certain nations, man. And when you go into uh Ararat and Mimi and all those different um nations mentioned in Isaiah the fifty first chapter, when you go into the modern region where it's talking about, all of them is talking about Armenia. So it's like. You know, the, the scriptures is dead on accurate, you know. But if you don't understand what's going on, you know, they ain't going to boost your faith because you don't know what's going on, you know. But for the ones, the brothers in the know, we see these things and that's what's making our faith to flourish, man. You uh, got it, bro. Can I finish this? You got it. It says, uh, <laughs> perhaps the connected notion is a boat washed over and overset by a big wave mm -hmm. to bring to ruin. Bring to hey because this this flood of the truth is ruining Esau's empire. You see, he's, the scriptures say even when he come in, like the flood is standing gonna be lifted. You see, so this truth has a counter to uh, Esau's flood that's supposed to come in. But see, it's gonna overwhelm our people that are not you know uh, of the faith, man. Sure. All right, they are not part of the elect. You got. It. I'm gonna finish this off in second Acts six yep. and twenty eight. It's for faith, it's your flourish, corruption should be overcome. Yep. And the truth, which has been so long without proof, should be declared. Yep, and the truth is being declared. Yep. You know, we're declaring the truth as we speak. Yep. You see, so we're, we're, we're fulfilling prophecy real, uh, real time. Yep. You right. see? This is Habakkuk 2 and 14. For the earth should be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. Yep. As the waters cover the sea. As the waters cover the sea, man. You know? How beautiful is that, man? You know, the scriptures say that the knowledge of the Lord is going to flood the earth because the waters do the sea, man. And the waters, it's a continual flow, you know, just like we're watching the stream saver, man. You know, you can't see the end of that water, man. You see, but it's constantly flowing, constantly flowing, man. And that's what's happening, man. You see, because what the scriptures say, um, uh, get that, you know, St. John 7, 38. Yeah, that water. Yeah, yeah that's still mm -hmm. I sure was thinking. Yeah, let's get that, man. Because at the end of the day, the scriptures, man, you know, that's this the waters, man. This the flood that's being poured out upon the people, man, yeah. upon the elect. You yeah, know? Yeah, Isaiah 55, 1 said, come ye to the waters. You uh, know, he that mm -hmm. thirst. Yeah, you know. He that thirst, you know, you should never thirst again. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, uh, John 7, 38. He that believe on me, the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And the belly goes back to your mental. Uh, facilities, man, your mental uh, faculties, man, yep. all right, and that's what's happening, man, out of men's mental uh, faculties, all right, it's flowing what, living waters, man, continually, <clears throat> man, you see, got a clip, uh, okay, you got it, yeah. Sirach 21 and 13, yep. 
The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Ooh. And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. Ooh. Hey, you can, hey, hey, it says it shall abound like a flood. And his counsel like a pure, you know, water of life. You know? Hey, because you, you, you when you, um, let's say you work a laborious job. All right? Uh, and you want some water. You know? And when you get that cup of water, you know, it replenishes you, you know, to keep going for the rest of the day. Well, that's how this ministry is spiritual because you can uh, listen to a brother's video or you can read, you know, and it's like you taking a swig of water and it replenishes you to carry on in his faith, man. You see, it's like a fountain. You know, you can go listen to the apostles and it's like you can put a cup, all right, and it get filled with that water and you drink of that water and now you replenish what? Because you have that, uh, uh, that nourishment back in you, man, that hydration back in you, man. You see? Some Isaiah 35 and 7. Yep. And the parched ground shall become a pool, yep. and the thirsty land springs of water. Yep. In the habitation of dragons, where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. In the habitation of dragons, man. All right? And we in this beast system, man. You know? Esau, Edom, his whole influence has, you know, compassed the whole earth, man. So now the Lord is a, a building a paradise out of what Esau made a, a wilderness, man, you know? But it starts with this knowledge, man. You see? Keep reading. Uh, verse, verse 8. And an highway shall be there. And a highway shall be there. Go ahead. And a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The way of holiness, mm. man. You see? Mm. So out of midst of this mm. chaos that's in the earth, the Most High just built the highway out of the middle of nowhere, man. You know, we didn't have no way back to you how about Shema al You know, we was in the world, man. But out of the middle of chaos, the most high built the highway through this word, man. You know, men laboring, all right, the, the apostles and the elders, they were elders, they labored to set this highway in motion, man. And now we traveling up on that highway and building and adding, you know, to that highway, man. It's going to lead, all right, to what? Salvation, man. So in the middle of a desert, you know, because when you go, you got, like, when you look at the desert, you know, uh, the brother Jakal was in the military. He said, you know, if you to navigate in the desert, it's shit so hard because everything looked the same. Mm -hmm. There ain't no landmarks, mm -hmm. you know, and then the wind, like the, the footprints, you can't really follow footprints because mm -hmm. the wind will blow over the footprints and erase the footprints, you know? So if you don't know how to navigate, you ain't familiar with that terrain, you'll be walking all day, you know? It's like the sun, he said, it's like the sun, be changing positions, you know. He said it's meant like the desert really is a place that why a lot of people when they get stranded in the desert they don't make it. You see, but imagine you in the desert, then all of a sudden you just see a highway being formed right in front of you, and you just keep following that highway. Then what? It's gonna lead to the paradise, man. That's how the Lord deal with this ministry, man. We was in the desert, no way out, you know. Everything was just through. You see, but the Lord formed that highway, man, and it's gonna lead. Salvation, man. Just that highway in the desert, man. Right. You know? Hey, brother, got something? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Hey, this Psalms 23.1. Yep. Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not walk. Mm -hmm. He made me to lie down in green pastures. Yep. He leading me beside the stairs water. He leading mm -hmm. by the still water. Hey, that green pastor, you know, they go, you know, into something that's flourishing. Mm -hmm. You see, when you have, whenever you have those green pastors, see, you, green pastors, you know, like I say, then like the way we think of the earth, you know, Esau really warped our understanding. Like if you had to, if you if you gave Jake the option of rather to have green pastures or Ferrari, you know, Jake gonna choose Ferrari, Ferrari. Ferrari. But he don't understand with green pastures by the water, you can build a house on. You know, you can start the vegetation. You can start raising the cattle. You know, because everything that you like comes from the earth. Right. You know, let's just say. If we wanted to leave here and go to downtown Memphis, you know, and go drink some uh, mark, uh, bottomless mimosas, you know, on their rooftop, you know, eat egg and salmon. Mm -hmm. Well, all those things come from the earth. Where the oranges come from? It got to be from an orchard. You see? Where the salmon come from? Somebody had to fish. It had to be a sea. Yeah, Jake don't got no understanding of the process. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he just, he just deal with the outcome. Yeah, he deal with the outcome. Yeah. You know? That ain't like microwave baby. Yeah, yeah, they don't so, want to work for it, man. So they don't understand know. what the green pastures is, man. That's life. Water, that's all those things pertain.
maintain the life because your livestock need green castles to eat. You know, and we are the sheep, but now we can eat of this word. It's the this this this, this those green pastors, man. You see, you got it. He, he restored my soul. Yep. He lead me in the paths of his righteousness. He lead me in the paths of his righteousness. Man. He put us on that highway. Yep. You see, go ahead. For his name's sake. Yep. Yeah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yep. I would fear no evil. I would fear no evil. For thou art with me. Yep. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. And that rod and that staff is these scriptures. See, because the ride and the staff is for correction. Mm -hmm. You know, when the sheep get out of line, you will tap, you know, with that uh, with that ride. Mm -hmm. All right. So when we get out of line, we get corrected by what this book. Yep. You know, we might That's read right. something to cut us, and like shit, we gotta change that. Just that you, you get tapped with that ride and get back in line. Yep. You know, or you hear a video, brother might cut you with something. That you get tapped with that ride, man. That's what's guiding you through this valley of shadow of death, man. You know, mm -hmm. telling you how to move. And how to fall back, and how to be balanced. You see, that's that right. You know? yeah. This is uh, desert right here. Yep. The battle of death, man. Yep. You know, but it says, uh, that wild is with me. Yep. Your word, man. Yep. You know, it says, you are clean through the word that, that I speak unto you, man. That's right. You know, you got to, what we can do on that? Hold, hold that. We're going to go back to it. We're going to link on the Isaiah 40. Yeah. Finish that 8. We're going to get that 40. We're going to finish that. Then you got one. All right, you're going to get your. Con. Yeah, finish that. Con. Isaiah 35 and 8. And an highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. Yeah. The unclean shall not pass over it. The unclean shall not pass over it, man. Which means niggas can't, niggas not allowed, man. All right? Not some mm -hmm. grimy mm -hmm. nigga. All right? Gonna be on this highway, man. You know? Only the elect chosen will be on this highway because for you to get started, you gotta repent. All right? Because scripture talk about, um, the, 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 the uh, Go into Sirach, you know, the fourth chapter, you know, it talks about uh, how wisdom will try you by crooked ways, you know, and then it it it, it, it try you on discipline, you know, and that's that's what get Jake. See, that's what cut out ninety nine percent. This they cut out a hundred percent of niggas whenever you try to add discipline to the equation. You see, that's the filter where niggas can't get on the highway. See that discipline. You see. Niggas, niggas can't get on the highway because it requires discipline, you know? And then what? It says she'll return the smooth paths unto you. Now you can now you can coast on that interstate. Because when you're trying to go somewhere, you, you know, you guys are ditching the travel. You're not trying to go to all the red lights and, yeah. you know, the back way. No, you're trying to get on that interstate so you can get scraped up. You know, you're trying to get to that destination, man. You see, the Lord put us on the highway, man. You see? Uh, you can't deal with them traffic jams. Yeah. But it shall be for those the wayfaring men. The wayfaring, the wayfaring is someone who travels by feet. You know? Go ahead. Huh. Though fools shall not art like shall not err therein. You said though fools shall not err therein, because we were once fools. But see this like I say this word, the script talk by wisdom. Make it the simple, all right, wise, man. You know, this word has made us wise because we were simple as hell, man. You know, hey, we were coming up, we thought uh, we thought uh, uh, cash money was the richest people on earth, man. We thought nobody had more money than baby them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? We were simple as hell, man. We didn't know what was going on on earth, man. You see? Yeah. But now, wisdom has made us uh, wise, man. Yeah. It says we should not err. Which means you go to earth, that means you go straight. All right, so we're not going to take no detour, detours off this highway, man. Lord will, we endure. You see? Uh, get that out there for you. And this is going into um, what John the Baptist did. Now, who was John the Baptist coming back? You know, I was busy. Mm -hmm. So he did the same thing. Same thing John the Baptist did in, in the time of Judea, or right, during the time of the Messiah. All right? He came back and did the same thing in this time, man. Except on a much grander scale because we were scattered throughout the whole earth, man. We got to go. Start the one, right? Yeah, start the one. Because this is Isaiah 40 and 1. Yep. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your, saith your power. Yep. Speak ye comfortable to Jerusalem. Cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Yeah, because the Bible is a, is a book of comfort, you know, for our people, man. You 
know. Our people need the salvation, man. Our people need a way out. You see? These other nations, you go into um, uh, 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 these other nations, they all are joint heirs with Esau within this wicked empire, man. You know, all these nations, man. But when you come to our people, we the people that's um, despised and outcast and at the bottom of the bottom, man. You see, especially the Israelite man, you know. But see, these are words of comfort for our people, man. And it said, tell her that her warfare is accomplished because, see, we are prisoners of war. You see? To this day, we're prisoners of war, man. No one has freed us, man. You see? You got it, bro. And it says that her warfare is accomplished, yep. that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Yes, yeah, because we receive this great punishment because of our wickedness, man. Because of our disobedience. But see, we have been pardoned through who? How was shot? You know? Because that's what I say. That's when the highway started being, um, the highway started being uh, 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 prepared, you know, because Elder Abba Bivens, you know, which is what this scripture is speaking of, we're going to go into it, but he started going to your house shot. See, because you had old, you know, commandment keepers, you know, before Elder Abba Bivens that knew that they was Israelites, but they was all, you know, about the Torah. See, Elder Abba Bivens started going into your house shot. That's when our uh, pardons started and our iniquity was forgiven. You know, through the teaching of Yahweh Shah. Because he was that sacrifice. And that was when the highway really started being prepared out this place, man. It began with Yahweh Shah. What Yahweh Shah say? I'm the way, the it's truth, like and the life. You see? Because they, they, them guys are just keeping the commandments. You know, trying to keep the commandments and talking about the Torah. The highway was not going to be built by them. The highway was going to be built through Yahweh Shah. Yeah. You see? You got to go. I got a precept too. Uh, you can finish yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's verse 3. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, Ooh. prepare ye the way of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Hey, the voice of him that cried in the wilderness, man. Because you had God scoffing because we said uh, the elder Abba Bibbins was Elijah and John the Baptist. You know, uh, what they say can, uh, 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 so you tell me John the Baptist came from Harlem? Yeah. <laughs> it was him crying in the wilderness, man. Yeah. It's a damn wilderness, man. Yeah. You know, America is that cheap wilderness on the earth, man. Yeah, so, it, yeah, he came from Harlem, man. Yeah, don't look up words. Yeah. That's how you know? Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> where, you, where you gonna come? Where you gonna come from, uh, you know, Tel Aviv? You know? Hey, uh, Middle yeah, East? Uh, yeah. Verse 3. <laughs> what is, what's that song? You know, not to get corner, but you have to look at things spiritual. You know, Jay-Z and Kanye got that song. Uh, uh, no Dr. Church in the No wild. Church in the Wild. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where they come from? Up there in, in New York? Yeah, what true. they call what they call New York? A concrete jungle. Concrete jungle. Y'all not spiritual, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta you gotta put it together, man. The big apple. Yeah. <laughs> that scene, man. You gotta go. Uh matter of mm -hmm. fact, let me get this real quick, all right? Okay. Wilderness. Wild, uninhabited, uncultivated place. Uncultivated. <laughs> you know? Hey, because this place, you know, really is lawless, man. Mm-hmm. You see, and then the laws they do have, they go against, you know, the laws of the Bible, man. That's right. Huh? You know, this is this is this is the wild, man, because you talk to go off your impulse, man. You know, that's why uh, 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 when you go, especially when you start going, moving up the ladder, you know, in Esau's society, you know, dealing with the uh, management positions and these executive positions, what they tell you, it's a dog eat dog world. Uh -huh. <laughs> you yeah. see. Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, ain't no, ain't no rules, ain't no none of that, man. This is dog he dog world, man. You know. And you deal with the word, you deal with the word uh, cultivated. It mean really to dress up, you know. And you know we we've been naked out here as a people before. You know, uh, our business who was uh, Elijah and John the Baptist coming back. You know, made us aware of who we are, and we start putting on these beautiful garments, man. This is our culture. We're being cultivated now, man. You see? So we we coming out of the wilderness. We coming into uh the green pastures, man. Back in uh, Isaiah 50 and verse 3. The voice Isaiah 40. of Slide 40 in verse 3. Good. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Hawa Shai. Prepare ye the way because uh, John the Baptist, you know, he prepared the way for the first coming of Yahweh Shai. Alright? 
and he came back again and prepared the way, all right, for the come the second coming of Yahweh Shah. All right. Matter of fact, it's that Malachi four or five just to link it up. You know, to let you know that it's talking about two different time periods, mm -hmm. man. You know, and it's all within the, in the context, man. <laughs> Malachi four or five. But behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet yep. before the coming of the great and dreadful day of and the Lord. The great and dreadful day. Now, was it dreadful during his first coming? No. You know? No, man. What dreadful is he talking about? The second coming, man. When the scriptures speak of the slain of the Lord going to be from one end of the earth to the other. Mm -hmm. All right? With fire and flames of fury will he plead with all flesh. Mm -hmm. He's talking about that, that dreadful day, man. Yep. You see? When, when he beat people to power, man. You know, and enslaved the heathen, man. That's that dreadful day, man. Yeah. You know, and who came before that day? It was uh, Abu Bibis, man. You know? So now that scripture's being fulfilled all over again, man. Now we cry now we all crying in the wilderness, man. You see? You got it, bro. Uh, it says, prepare you the way of the Lord, you how about Shimmy how it shot. Make straight in the desert a highway. Make straight in the desert a highway. You for, see? For our power. For our power, man. You know? So a highway is being made, and now the believer, all right, can follow this highway on the way out, man. You know? And it's all through the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. You know? Go ahead, keep reading. Verse 4. Every valley shall be exalted. Every valley shall be exalted. What did the brother just read in Psalm 23? Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, because we're in that valley. But now we're going to be exalted out of that valley, man. All right? We're going to be exalted to rulership, man, because valley is a low point, you see, and we at our lowest point ever, you see, but now that valley is going to be exalted, man, all right, at the second coming of Yahweh Shai, go ahead. Uh, it says, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. Yeah, every mountain and hill, which is these governments of the day, these mountains, these major governments, these hills, these smaller governments, they are going to be made low, all right, because the Lord is going to come conquer the earth in righteousness. You know, he's going to uh, destroy a lot of these heathen, you know. And the ones that remain, they go into captivity. So these heathen, right. all right, all these heathens at the UN meetings, these secret councils, Bilderberg, these summits, you see, they finna be made low. They finna go into captivity, man. You know, you got it, bro. And it says, and the crooked shall be made straight. Yep. And the rough place is plain. Yeah, the crooked made straight, you know. Because what, like I say, you had Christianity, you had the uh, uh, Islam, you had Egyptology, Pan Africanism, Atheism, the nigga woman, she, she, she a witch now. You yep. see, all these different ways. But see, the Lord took all that crooked from the elect, and now made it straight through His Word, man. Now we on, now we on that highway to salvation, man. You see, that was it, bro. You had no, you had some. Yeah, you had some. You want to finish that song? Yeah, finish. I got something. Okay, come on. I'm gonna finish this song and then get the other. This is a uh, Psalm 119 and 105. Yep. It says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet yep. and a light unto my path. It said, A light unto my feet. And then, remember, you know, the highway was, was for a wayfaring man, mm -hmm. which is a man to travel by feet. You see? So, this word and these precepts are a light unto my feet. We know how to move now. We know not to take the vaccine. You know what I mean? People don't know what, not gonna know what to do when the vaccine come out. Well, the precepts tell us not to trust thy enemy. You know? Jake don't know to not take the flu shots. Yeah. Jake did not know to take the flu shots. Yeah. I, I was at uh, I was at my mom's house, and uh, her neighbor come out, and she got a flu shot two weeks ago, and her arm's still sore. She can't hardly move. I'm saying, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> two weeks ago? Yeah. Damn. Hey, hey, that's why, hey, just like this word coming in, you know, like a flood and flourishing, Enemy finna come in like a flood too, man. Yep. You know? They say I will hide you off from the tempest. Yep. The tempest is the, it's the flood. Yep. You know? And then I think COVID started, they are taking the uh, sharks, you know, using the sharks on uh, skin or whatever. They base. says the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of stones. Yeah, the valley. You know, our people in this low condition, you know, and we liken them to bone, you know, because spiritually we were dead, man. You know?
know, we did the whole tour. We were just scattered all over the place. You know, we got. It says, and caused me to pass by them round about. Yep. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Yep. And lo, they were very dry. They were very dry. People were famished, man. You know? People didn't know how people didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what was going on, man. You know? We had Jake go from being, you know, Negro, alright, to colored, to black, to African American, you see. Uh, uh, all these different tribes, Native Americans, indigenous people, you see, all over the place, Latin speaking tribe. You got uh, uh, the Northern Kingdom, they got statues of their uh, oppressors, man. You, They celebrate Columbus Day, you know. They hurrahed this nigga as some hero, man. You know, they was, we, I, we were very dry, man. You know, but our people wasn't calling on the Lord, mm -hmm. you see, until that spirit came, until that spirit of life entered into us, man. Yeah, and that spirit caught on that oppressor, man. Yeah. I think uh, I was just looking, a UFC fighter named Joe. He was like, man, I forget his last name. He was like, Joe, um, um, the Latino community, we, we go vote for Donald Trump. And then you know, like, what the hell is going on, man? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Thank you, uh, Jake's still very dry, you know? That's why, that's why they not going to get on their highway, man. You know? Yeah. That was that police walk. Uh, I was built upon this walk, you know, Peter, you know, yep, the house yep. of David, you know. And the church should, I mean, the, the, the gates of hell should not uh, prevail. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, John, he says, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Yep. And I answered, O Lord, power, thou knowest. Yeah, so Ezekiel looking like it's true. You know, so he tells the most high, you know, you know, you know <laughs> I, so I can't even answer them, you know. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. And that's what's happening, man. You know, these dry bones prophesy out of you, man. You see, start a new, all right, Elijah, man. All right, if you can receive it, man. You know, you got it. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Done. And that's what happened. You see? We got breath in us now, and now we living. You see, they were caught for Dasha, you know? Because when you go into the word holiness, you know, you create a highway of holiness, a way of holiness. The word holiness goes back to the cop, you know? Yeah. Which is mean to be separate, all right? And that's what happened, man. We on a separate path than everyone else, man. See, we on that straight and narrow way, you see? Everyone else is on that big broad gate where everything is accepted. See on that straight way, everything you know is not accepted, man. You know, because you get on the hot on the interstate, you'll see everything. You see U Haul trucks, you'll see uh, big 18 wheels, you know. But it's some roads that uh, I know this brother know that 18 wheels can't go on, you know. Every truck can't go, you got a clearance, a bridge clearance, and stuff. That's how this straight way, yeah. You got to stand it on this road, you can't just be on this road, you know. You got standards and regulations, man, you know. but that Broadway, everything is accepted, man. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, you might see a nigga pulling the street. Yeah, you street might see a nigga pulling a double wide trailer. You know, wide load. You know, Flammable. yeah, yeah. flammable. <laughs> yeah, you got all type of shit. You know, nigga totally uranium. You know, nuclear waste. Yeah, damn. Yeah, on that on that broad path, man. You know, it just it, it just go get there. You know, get there the best way you can, but see on this straight path. You know, it's only a few, all right, that's going to find it, man. See, a lot of people driving right past his exit, man. You know, but the most high build us off that broad path and put us on this straight highway to salvation, man. You know? Uh, yeah, I got a good one. I got one. You got one? Okay. You finished it? Yeah, finished it. Okay, cool. All right. Who, uh, who you got your Okay. Um, uh, a lot of beginning, man. Yeah. We're going to end with that, uh, I'll tell you a secret. This is the book of Luke, chapter 3. Uh, yeah, Luke chapter 3. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 3. It said, And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet saying, The voice of 
one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Yep, make his path straight. You know, because if we go in the ancient world, you know, let's say a king had to make a journey, you know, well, before, you know, he would make, you know, his journey, you know, he would have people, you know, clearing the way. Like they would have to um, chop down, you know, they would have to make, you know, a highway in the wilderness. You see, they would have to clear, you know, trees. trees. They have to smooth the road, you know, so when the king come through, he have a smooth passage, you know, all the way, you know, until his destination. And that's what we're doing for Yahweh Shah. Because remember when Yahweh Shah came to Jerusalem, what they was doing, they was throwing their garments, they was putting uh, uh, bushes, you know, across the way, you know, to what? They was making a way for the king, you know, which that was a very humble way that he came into uh, uh, Jerusalem, lowly, and on the ass of the coat. But see, we doing the same thing in the spirit, you know, when he come back on a cherry this time. Yeah. You see? He's coming in his glory. This yeah, time. he coming in his glory this time, man. We, we, rolling, we rolling out the, uh, the red, red car, car. You yep. know? He said, throw you the truck as I am. Yep. You know? yep. Let's see a little more. Uh, it says, every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. Yep, every mountain and hill shall be brought low. You know, these are the heathens, man. Mm -hmm. You know, these, these uh, uh, empires of all the heathens are going to be brought low at the second Straight, yep. and the rough way shall be made smooth, Woo. and all flesh shall see the salvation of the Alvashi Yahusha. Yep, hey, because really, you know, the truth, you know, um, you know, it uh, it makes you live a more simple life, you know, because we was in this world, man, we was all over the place, man, you know, we trying to press these, all right, trying to shit on other niggas, you know, we keeping up with all the trends, you know. Niggas gotta throw away their whole wardrobe because now the trends done changed. You know? Yeah. Hey, that's that's a rough way, man. <laughs> you know, you partying all the time. You see, you really don't have nothing to show for nothing, man. You know? That's a rough way. You you went to it with niggas all the time, so now, you know, you gotta uh, uh, watch your back at the gas station. You can't even have your kids ride with you because you beefing with these niggas, man. That's a that's a rough way, man. You getting you getting these ratchet hole pregnant, man. You see? That's a rough way. You trying to apply Christianity in real life, man. Because they say, hell, if you if you look at a woman, you might go to hell. You know? She could be single, but you lust. That's fornication. That's sad. Yeah. You gonna go into hell. You're like, God damn. You know? <laughs> well, I don't look at you. Right. That's the Christian doctor. Yeah. Like, God damn. That's the Christian doctor. You know? But that's a rough way, man. You know, but now this way is smooth because now we understand what it is, man. Yeah. You know, we on, we have a law to understand these things, man. You know, now we understand our nature as a man, you know. And now we don't care about status and clout within this world, man. We content, you know. We got the truth. The Lord provides, you know. We got shelter. We got food. You know, we got the brotherhood, man. We content, man. That's that. It's that smooth way, man. Now, now, now our life is much simpler, man. Now we can focus on that destination, man. Uh -huh. You know? That's that old way. That's yeah. the old paths, you yeah. know? Walk through it. Yeah. You got to uh -huh. come. It's um, Book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 1. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, is my light and my salvation. Yep. Whom shall I fear? Yep. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah, because we got, and that's something that, um, you know, we got to clock. The only thing we should fear is how about Shem Al Shah. You know, not being obedient to him, you know, let him down, not being pleasing to him. You know, because if we do the thing that's required of us, we have nothing to fear, man. Most high not gonna put us in a situation to lose, man. He's not setting us up to lose, man. Yeah. All right, these little doubt demons we have, you know, there's something, you know, we gotta, you know, really get over. You know, because we come into time we're gonna have to fully depend on you how about Shem Al Shah, man. That's right. Yeah. You know? Hey, it's like um, when people walk on the wall, he not he not gonna let her drown. You know? Yeah. yeah. But because what happened? When people started sinking, because he started looking to, looking to see the storm that was around, him, he mm -hmm. stopped focusing on your house shot. Mm -hmm. You see, but if he, as long as he was focused on your house shot, he was he was walking on water with no problem. Mm -hmm. You know, but when he took his focus off your house shot, then he started to sink, man. Yeah. 
You know, when Yahweh Shai came and got him, man. You know? Yeah, immediately. Yep. Or, just like that. You know? But this <coughs> Isaiah 49, thus said the Lord Yahweh, in the acceptable times have I heard thee. In the acceptable times he heard us, man. You see, because he wasn't hearing us for a while. Yep. You know? And especially in the, in the heat, you know, of that, uh, of that last cap, of this last captivity, this child captivity. He's always just having his way with us, man. You see, he wasn't hearing us, man. You know, Jacob singing in what they call Negro spirituals. <laughs> Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming forth, take take me home. The Lord wasn't hearing that, man. You see, but now, uh, now he hearing it, man. You see, and now we seeing the Lord set the stage up for that great deliverance, man. You see, that's why when you try to go out, you know, and hang out in the city, it's so jacked up. You know, it's confusion. People don't know what to do, you know. Everything closed, you know. Social distance, no social distance. You really don't know what's going on because the Lord from the end this shit, man. That's right. You know, like I said, you go out and be frustrated, but then you gotta think this is the most high end in this shit. The most high doing this because this is this what they live for. See, this what we live for right here. This will wake us up, man. You know, at the end of the day, because even if we do, you know, step out of town, man, it's gonna be just to balance us out. We're still gonna be around the brothers and we're gonna stay spiritual, man. But see, these people, they look forward to this, man. They crave this, you know. We don't, man. You see? You got it, bro. Yeah, he said, in a day of salvation, have, have I helped thee, yep. and I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage, that thou may say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness. Yep, and so, and our people are our people through law and prison and darkness in our mind, man. Yep. You know? Call ourselves African Americans, man. That's a that's a that's a darkness, man. Yep. You call yourself out the two Edomites, man. And we ain't know who these who these people were till we <laughs> old as hell, man. You know? But we don't put it on every application. African American, man. You know? Then we find out these, these two Edomites from two different time periods and ain't got nothing to do with us, man. You know? Yeah. It was in darkness, man. Jesus Christ. We never we had the Bible this whole time, you know, but we never went into the description, you know, of the Messiah. Yeah. All right, how he looked. But in meanwhile we got this picture of this nigga, you know, looking over us while you eat goddamn breakfast, man. Yeah. Or a big you know? ass statue. Yeah, like a big ass big statue. Hell. You know. Yeah. Got this nigga all on a T shirt. You see? He was in blindness, man, in the Ta darkness, man. Tattooed on some shit. Yeah, sheet. the Jesus piece, you know. <laughs> Tatted up with yeah. this nigga. Through. Finish, man. Hey, we were prisoners of, of hope, man, you know. Yep. But it uh, goes darkness, you know. But it's a, uh, go forth to them that are in darkness. Show yourselves that shall feed in the ways and their pastors should be in all high places. In all high places, man. Hey, because like I said, now we have these green pastors. They should not hunger nor thirst. Yeah. Neither should they, it's like neither should the heat nor sun smite them. Yo, yeah, man. Hey, because we're not hungry and thirst because now we're being quenched constantly, man. Yeah. You know, we're getting our daily bread because really when you pray for the daily bread, you know, of course the Lord, you know, give you that carnal food, you know, but see what's most important to get that, uh, that spiritual food. You see, that's really the main thing we pray for, that daily bread, man, get that spiritual all right, uh, bread and water. You yeah. see what you just worried, man. You know you got. It said, for he that had mercy on them shall lead them, yep. even by the springs of water. Even by he, the springs of water, go ahead. Shall he guide them? Shall he guide them? So we're being guided by this council, man. That's within the scriptures, man. We have a guide. Follow the guide, man. Yep. You know, and then you have a lot of false guides out there too, man. Yep. You know, they make it, hey. They, they seem like they on the highway, man, but that highway going to lead you, they, it's going to put you right back on that broad path, man, yeah. on everybody else, man. Yeah. You know, Jake telling you that you can't have, uh, you can have sex on the Sabbath. Jake telling you the name don't matter. You see, Jake trying to build, you know, here it is, we on the highway, you know, going to salvation. Then you're going to have uh, 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 Jake pull over and try to build a community, man. <laughs> You know? Take a break. Yeah, we gone, man. <laughs> this this don't stop, man. You see, it's a labor to enter into thy rest, man. Yep. 
Alright? You ain't gonna take me on a road trip. You trying to get there and you say, look, they got this land on sale. You know, let's get this land. You know, you gotta clear the trees out. You ain't gonna never get there, man. You you settling in. So it's why you gonna go that path when the Lord say, uh, these other nations gonna yeah. 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 So we're going to build our own kingdom up. Yeah. Hey, you ain't tell me I'm going to go to work, get off work, <laughs> go back to work on the shit that's going to be uh, destroyed. Yeah. 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 It's good to say, um, be like pilgrims on the earth, man. Travel to that holy Ooh. place, man. You know? But they want to keep making pit stops. And they, shit, man. they say, oh, see, y'all hate. All right, then. <laughs> we hate. All yeah. right. This is important. Isaiah 49 11. And I will make all my mountains a way, and my highways shall be exalted. My highways shall be exalted. Hey, because Yahweh Shai, you know, he told us that if he be lifted up, he will draw every man unto him. See, now that highway is being made manifest, it's emerging, you know, uh, 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 you know, to the top. You see, now that highway is being looked at as the way. See, at first it was covered up, you know, you couldn't see it. You know, but now that highway is being lifted up through this word. And the believers are getting on that highway, man. You know? Yeah, so, yeah someone I'm talking about? Uh, nah, we can close, man. Okay, let's get that uh, Isaiah 62. Start at, um, let's see. Uh, Isaiah 62 and 1. Isaiah 62. Man, matter of fact, uh, let me bring this out. This is, this is, yeah. this is. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 10 and 10. It says, When the righteous fled from his brother's wrath, she guided him in right paths. Yep. Showed him the kingdom of Yahweh Shimei Hawashai and gave him knowledge of holy things. Man, that was Jacob. Made him rich in his travels yep. and multipl multiplied the fruit of his labor. Yep, mm -hmm. because, um, you know, Jacob became rich in the dealing with uh, Laban. Mm -hmm. You know, he had started. Work for labor, he was also acquiring, you know, his own, you know, riches, you know, as far as livestock. You know, he had gained wives and handmaids, you know, and then he started be, be, be getting children, man. You know, so he started the legacy, man. You see, but see, those, those ways was, was shown unto Jacob, you know, and it was passed down to his sons, man. Yep, you see, and he's talking about the wisdom that guided him, just the sheep, yep. you know, when he fled from his brother, from his brother's wrath. Which uh, everything is is like you say, written the four times written for our learning. You know, we fled from the, the ways of Esau. Now, you know, his wrath is upon us. But uh, our people are too ignorant of the Most High to understand, not to choose like you say, uh, enemy not the oppressor, choose none of his ways. For the customs of the people are vain. You know, uh, learn not the way of the heathen. But Esau the chief heathen. Keep running up behind him to try to like, like we just wanted to build a land on a sovereign land in his kingdom. What that that's that's what he wants you to do. Yeah. Yeah, he, said, he, he gonna watch you build it all the way up. Like look at these niggas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch this shit. Yeah. It's like that's like a uh, old, old baby boy with uh little man yeah. had built. It. You yeah. show yeah. little fort nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Keep yeah. that shit on. Yeah. You know that's what he's all waiting. Y'all niggas yeah. gonna build that shit over and watch this shit. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Again, we gotta, we gotta, man, we, we gotta, I can say, uh, arise you and know, depart, man. Arise you and depart, man. Ain't no place of rest here, man. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 62 and 10. Go through, go through the gates, prepare you the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Cast up the highway, man. Hey, that's what we doing, man. We casting up this highway, man. You know? Hey, this is the exit. We the, we the exit sign. The prophets are the sign. We the exit, man. When you see the prophets get off, they brought away, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> exit 144, man. Uh, you know? You got it, bro. Gather out the stones. Yep. Lift up a standard for the people. Hey, lift up a standard. What is the standard? The scriptures, man. They're riding their staff. All right? Now the men have a way to be, to walk. The men of our nation. Now the women have a standard that they should be trying to uphold, man. 
See, now it's a standard amongst the nation. Before it wasn't no standard, man. It was just a bunch of randomness, man. People coming up with ideas, man. You know, like uh, 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 the nigga Big Killer Mike. You know, he's starting a digital bank. You know, and then he naming it after uh, 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 the Black Wall Street. You know, he called it Greenwood Bank because that's what Black Wall Street was at. You know, in that area. I guess the area was called Greenwood over there in Tulsa. You know, showing you that them niggas is walking in the wilderness, man. They going back to, uh, they going a hundred years backwards, man. You know? Those are the landmarks. Yeah. Going back to Egypt. Yeah. Oh, you going a hundred years backwards. If they ain't work a hundred years ago, what you think Esau got now? That's right. You know? And then you talking about digital. What what you going to have to do, all right, to uh, maintain that bank account, yes, man? Bank, man? You got to get the chip, man. That's right. You know? So at the end of the day, all right, uh, 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 our people are still lost in their wilderness, man. They missing the exit of the prophets, man, which lead to, you know, salvation, man. You got it, bro. Yep. If Jake mindset is to continue to get rich carnally instead of getting rich spiritually, yep. what the Lord say about a rich man entering into the kingdom of heaven? Mm -hmm. You know? So you going the opposite way, man. You're really supposed to be trying to learn how to survive on less, man, instead That's of right. accumulating more, man. Yep. You know? Says, behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Yep. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. I say his reward is with him, and his work before him. Because the reward, all right, is going to be immortality and kingdom for the elect, all right? And their, and their work before him is their destruction, man. You see? So the Lord is saying, look, this is the way, you know, walk ye therein. What you feel say? This is the way, walk ye therein, man. You got it, bro. And they shall call them the holy people, yep. the redeemed of Yahweh. The redeemed, oh yeah. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. So in the middle of the wilderness, the Most High built the desert, you know, he mm -hmm. sought us out, man. The spirit of Yahweh shall sought us out. Because a good shepherd going to go look for his, his sheep, man. He going to go in the middle of the wilderness, ready to fight anything for his sheep, man. That's what Yahweh Shai did, man. He sought out his sheep, and he built them a path to get back to him. All right, and he stayed it while we on that path, because when you look at a bunch of sheep, they all walking in one direction, man. All right, and once <laughs> sheep get off, I say they ride and tap back in, and they just keep walking, and that's what happened, man. Yahweh Shai sought out all his sheep. You know, and now, all right, uh, uh, the sheep are on their way to salvation, man. You know, the Lord you utilized the prophets, all right, because we are those shepherds in the still of Yahweh Shai. You know, we have his spirit upon us, you know, but we're those uh, uh, shepherds in the still, you know, the good shepherd in the still of Yahweh Shai. You see? If I can make a point, sometimes a shepherd will uh, uh, break the sheep's legs, man. If you if you really are uh, the most high's elect, you know, the elect sheep, Hey, you break your leg. You keep wanting off. You break your leg. Like that's that chat. That's that rebuke. That's that chastening, man. Break you down. Take your job. You know, take you through hell to get that correction, man. So you know, when you start catching it, that's that's why it's uh always uh brothers putting those admonitions out. You know, hey man, examine yourself. You know, when you start seeing certain things happening, don't just look at it like man, this is what I gotta go through. Well, you know, yeah, we gotta go through it, but hey. Most High is doing things to you to humble you to look at yourself and say, "Hey, man, I gotta, I gotta get back on the right path." Cause you, you wandering off too much. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord will cut your, uh, cut your cords, man. Yeah, you know, you break you down. Break and you then, down. And the, and the scary thing is when he stop chastising you, right? And he open you up. He let you get, you know, your flesh desire. You see, he let you wander off, man. He don't even. You don't even care no more. Okay, you know, yeah. you don't care, I don't care. Fuck. You know? Yeah, it's like I was looking at this time. Luke 15, I'm going to start at 3. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you have a hundred sheep? If he lose one of them, do not leave the ninety yeah. and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. Yeah, because the Lord, he, he say he's not going to lose none of his leg. None of them shall be lost. Okay. You know? So, hey, he gonna do what it, do what is required, you know.
know, like we said, if that means he got to break you down to the point to where, all right, let me, let me pick him up and put him on my shoulder for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord ain't going to keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? He just let, like y'all say, hey, if you get to the point to where you ain't being chastised no more and you just comfortable wandering in the wilderness, hey, that's, it's over with you. She's not going to stop you. Nope. He, he ain't trying to receive that discipline, that yeah. love for her, you know? Yeah. That's not what it says. He said, and when he had found it, he laid it on his shoulders with Joseph. Mm -hmm. And when he coming home, he called up together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. I say, I say unto you that likewise, Joseph should be in heaven of a one sinner that repented more than more than over 99 just just persons which needed no uh, repentance yeah that's why the lord tell us to prophesy to the wind man he says she hears his voice you know that voice going out starting with our bibles all right into the highways and the edges hey man it's still going out through us that holy spirit is still working through us man you know but hey really when it's over is when this word is shut down you know they finna bring that family another word man oh yeah you know and when, and, when, and when that's over with, man, like I say, they're going to be, uh, your people going to be going to and fro, you know, hey, but it's going to be too late then. The talk is over with, man. Yep. You know, hey, because, hey, it's going to be a point where the highway is going to be closed, where, in fact, the exit is going to disappear, <laughs> you know, the exit is going to completely disappear, man, and you're just going to have to deal with that broad gate. It's going to be out there, you know, so, that was it, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, with that. You know, once again, we give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kodash. You know, double honors to our apostles and our elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, be a great example to his mother's brothers. Peace and blessed salutations to the whole collect. You know, Quam Yashua Allah. Quam Yashua Allah. Abba 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 Abba